Do you have to be able to describe a wine with all these terms in order to enjoy it? No, you can just drink it and love it. That's fine, but they are fun to play around with. So everybody's read crazy descriptions of wine. They, you know, this wine smells like a sweaty horse saddle. This wine smells like elderberries plus iodine or whatever. The truth is, Grapes actually, when they're made into wine, have specific aromatic and flavor characteristics to them. Cabernet Sauvignon, for instance. Cabernet, often when it's made into wine, smells like some combination of blackberries and black currants. That's very typical of Cabernet. It doesn't mean that the winemaker dumped a bunch of black currants and blackberries into the bottle. When you open a Cabernet and you smell it, that's the kind of aroma you get. So Chardonnay like Cabernet, has some kind of classic character, flavor characteristics. You know, this one from Carneros in Napa Valley area really has a lemony, kind of lemon cream character. So the other thing about wine is winemaking has an effect on the flavors and aromas too and the descriptors that come out of that. If you are looking at a California Chardonnay, odds are it's been aged in oak barrels, probably new oak barrels, for some amount of time, and oak has a very distinctive smell. It smells, you know, slightly vanilla spicy, let's say. The next time you're at a winery, go ask to smell an oak barrel. You will never forget the aroma and you will recognize it every time you smell it in a wine. Acidity, very important in wine. It's a descriptor, right? It's a word to describe wine. It doesn't sound that tasty. Nobody wants to drink a cup full of acid, but acidity is crucial in wine and a wine without acid, it just tastes like, you know, Welch's grape juice, sweet and bleh. Acidity gives wine length, it gives it intensity, it gives it zing. There are descriptors out there like that that don't seem like something you'd want to taste but actually describe the wine very accurately. So here's another thing about wine descriptors. A lot of them, yeah, they're metaphorical. Someone says it smells like blackberries or it tastes like leather. Well, there's no leather in the bottle, we know that. On the other hand, you take a Syrah, for instance, and the Syrah smells to you like black pepper or white pepper. Um, guess what? That's actually a naturally occurring compound in Syrah it's called rotundone. You make Syrah into wine, there's a teeny tiny infinitesimal percentage of rotundone in the bottle. That smells, gives it that peppery aroma that you smell. The other thing about wine is that as it ages, it takes on totally different aromas and flavors, which consequently there are different descriptors for. If you take this old Rioja, it's a 1999 Rioja. It's been in the bottle for 19 years, in fact. It's kind of wild. You smell it. All that fruitiness that's present in wine to begin with kind of recedes and you get things like forest floor and earth and a little bit of like, almost like a little bit of dried mushroom. It sounds crazy to say that's what's in wine, that's like what the, that's what it actually smells like, but when you smell an older wine, that's the kind of aromas that you actually get in the wine. Now you know something about wine descriptors, but you don't have to be able to describe a wine to enjoy it. You can just drink it and love the thing. That's enough. <laughs>